Now, Dave lived in a land called Israel a long, long time ago. So long ago that there weren't any cars or telephones or vacuum cleaners or anything. There were mostly just sheep, especially around Dave's house, because Dave was a shepherd. No, no, that's not him. That's one of his brothers. Nope, another brother. Uh, nope, another brother. Dave had a lot of brothers. Aha, there he is. Uh, no, not the sheep. He's behind the sheep. Uh, shoo there, Fluffy. Hi, I'm Dave. I have a lot of brothers. Yep, seven to be exact. Now, Dave and his brothers spent most of their time in the fields taking care of their sheep, which could be hard work because their sheep had an unusual problem. They tip over. Oh, look. That guy's one now. But Dave had an even bigger problem. You see, of all the brothers, he was the smallest. That's right. Everybody's bigger than I am. And sometimes his big brothers would pick on him. Oh, Dave, one of my sheep fell over. Would you come pick it up for me? I'm kind of busy right now. Do you remember the time we dipped you in tar and stuck you to the backside of an angry water buffalo? I'll be right Hey, Dave, one of my sheep fell, too. Just a minute. <laughs> oh, my sheep fell over. Dave. Oh, Dave, after you pick up our sheep, could you run and get me a bite to eat? I'm famished. Oh, yeah, me too. Get me something, too. You know, sometimes I think I could eat a whole camel. Oh, yeah? Well, sometimes. I think I could eat a whole spaceship. Uh, what's a spaceship? I have no idea. <laughs> That's how things had pretty much always been for Dave. Nothing really exciting happened around there until one day when their dad, Jesse, came running out with some uh, horrible uh, news. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, Dave, can you pick those up? Oh, oh, boys! Oh, oh, boys! I got, I got horrible news! The villa, the fil, the, the Philippines are, uh, are, uh, are, uh, they're attacking! The lima beans are, uh, lacking? The nectarines are quacking? One more time, please, and let's work on our enunciation. The Philistines are attacking! Uh, Bob, what are the Philippines? The Philippines are a group of islands off the coast of Southeast Asia, but that's not important now. The Philistines were people who hated Israel. They wanted to take Israel's land and make the Israelites their slaves, so they'd have to do whatever the Philistines told them to do. Oh, that's bad. You're right. So the Israelites needed to protect themselves. We need to protect ourselves, but how? King Saul is putting together an army to stop the Philistines. He needs your help. You must help save Israel. We, we must help save Israel. We must help save Israel. We must help save Israel. Hey, 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 Dave. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> it's very nice that you want to help, but saving a country is a big thing. You're a little guy. Big people do big things, and little people do little things. So, stay with the sheep. <laughs> They're big. I'm little. They go, I twiddle. Why can't little guys do big things too? By the time Dave's brothers arrived at King Saul's camp, battle lines had been drawn between the Philistines and the Israelites. And, as was the custom in their day, the armies lined up and yelled at each other. Hello, Israelites! You are thieves! And soon we will put apples in your mouths and stick you in our toaster ovens! 
<laughs> oh, yes, after we defeat you, you will be our slaves and you will have to fetch us our sleep bears. Yes, and iron our trousers. Oh, and wipe our little noses. Aha, uh -huh. and scratch that spot on our backs we cannot reach no matter how hard we try. <laughs> Don't you have anything to say? Um... Do you guys have any fried chicken? I've got a real hankering for fried chicken. Yeah, me too. This is going to be easier than we thought. You know, I think I can save us all a lot of time. How about if we bring out our strongest man, and you bring out your strongest man, and they will fight. If our champion beats your champion, you will be our slaves. But if your champion defeats us, we will be your slaves. What do you think about that? Well, the Israelites were getting kind of tired of the yelling, and the Philistines did seem a little on the small side, so King Saul agreed. That seems like a reasonable idea. All right, we agree. Send out your champion. Hey, Goliath! We'll be back with more Dave and the Giant Pickle after this break. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Laddie, the part of the show where Laddie comes out and sings a silly song. One day, while talking with Dr. Archibald, Laddie confronts one of his deepest fears. If my lips ever left my mouth, packed a bag and headed south, that'd be too bad. I'd be so sad. I see, that'd be too bad. Be so sad. That'd be too bad. All righty. If my lips said adios, I don't like you, I think you're gross, that'd be too bad. I might get mad. Hmm, that'd be too bad. You might get mad. That'd be too bad. Fascinating. If my lips moved to the loose, left a mess and took my tooth, that'd be too bad. I'd call my dad. Oh dear, that'd be too bad. You'd call your dad. That'd be too bad. Hold it. Did you say your father? Fascinating! So what you're saying is, if your lips left you... That'd be too bad, I'd be so sad, I might get mad, I'd call my dad, that'd be too bad. That'd be too bad. That'd be too bad. Why? Cause I love my lips. Believe that ba be ba boo ee da ba boo ba da boo bow yeah ba da ba ba dee ba ba boom ba 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 da yeah ba da ba da ba blue ba 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 Oh my, this is more serious than I thought. Laddie, what do you see here? Um, that looks like a lip. What about this? It's a lip. And this? It's a lip, it's a lip, it's a lip, 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 it's a lip, it's a lip, it's a lip, 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 it's a lip, it's a lip, it's a lip, 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 lip. Laddie, tell me about your childhood. When I was just two years old, I left my lips out in the cold and they turned blue. What could I do? Oh dear, they turned blue. What could you do? Oh, they turned blue. I see. On the day I got my tooth, I had to kiss my great aunt Ruth. She had a beard, and it felt weird. My, my, she had a beard, and it felt weird? She had a beard. Oh. Ten days after I turned eight, got my lips stuck in a gate. My friends all laughed. And I just stood there until the fire department came and broke the lock with the crowbar and I had to spend the next six weeks in lip rehab with this kid named Oscar who got stung by a bee right on the lip and we couldn't even talk to each other until the fifth week because both of our lips were so swollen and when he did start speaking he just spoke Polish and I only knew like three words in Polish except now I know four because Oscar taught me the word for lip. Usta. Your friends all laughed. Usta. How do you spell that? I don't know. So what you're saying is that when you were young... They turned blue, what could I do? She had a beard and it felt weird, my friends all laughed. whoop -da. I'm confused. I love my lips. This has been Silly Songs with Laddie. Tune in next time to hear Laddie say... Have I ever told you how I feel about my nose? Look at the time! 
And now, back to Dave and the Giant Pickle. Who will I fight? The Israelites were so terrified of Goliath that they all ran away and hid. Mm, nobody will fight. I'll come back tomorrow. And that's exactly what he did. Goliath came back the next day, and the next day, and the next day for 40 days. But every time he showed up, all the Israelites ran away and hid. Finally, Jesse started to worry about his boys, so he sent little Dave to the battlefield with some food. <coughs> now Dave got to King Saul's camp just about the time Goliath was going to come out, so all the Israelites were hiding. Hello? Is anybody here? Shh, he'll hear you. Who? <coughs> Him, that big pickle over there. Who will fight me? Well, who's going to fight him? What are you, nuts? He'd have us for lunch. Speaking of which, what'd you bring us? Here you go. Mmm, pizza. Oh, cheese in the crust. That's tremendous. Come on, guys. Have you forgotten? We're the children of God. The what? the children of God. The Bible says that the Israelites were God's chosen people. God led them through the desert, he helped them walk across the Red Sea, and whenever they went into battle, God was there with them. They had always known that if God was on their side, no one could stand against them. Wow. But King Saul and his men were so scared of big, tall Goliath, they forgot that God was even bigger. Oh, dear. Uh, Larry? You've got something on your, uh... Huh? Oh, never mind. Once again, no one would answer Goliath's challenge. Oh, no one to fight. They told me that you are the children of God. You are cowards. I come back tomorrow. I can't believe you're letting them say that! Somebody's gotta do something! What are you gonna do, Dave? Remember, you're a little guy. Leave this big stuff to us big people. <gasps> do you think he saw me? No, you're okay. Phew. Well, Dave knew exactly what he had to do, so he went straight to King Saul and announced his plan. I will fight Goliath. <laughs> King Saul took the news rather well. I'm sorry, my ears must be failing. I could have sworn I heard you say that you'd fight Goliath. But you didn't say that, did you? Yes, I did. Oh, I say, that's very kind, but let's be reasonable. You are a tiny little fellow, and, well, Goliath, he's, he's enormous. No, 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 that's a job for a big person, not a little boy like you. You're not going to sing, are you? Couldn't you just play your harp and I'll throw things at you? No. You're big, I'm little. My head only comes to your middle. But I say little guys can do big things too. Oh, yes, but Goliath, he's... He's big, but God's bigger. what you're saying? All right, I understand. Now let's suppose that this is true. You still look rather wimpy, but I know what we can do. Just step behind this curtain. It will only take a minute. There's a closet in the corner, and you'll like what I've got in it. You'll find my royal armor there. Now, Danny, put it on. Yes, now you'll look much bigger when the battle lines are drawn. Well, one more thing you'll need, I think. Pick up my royal sword. It's a big one and a beauty. The best we could afford. Once you've got it all together, I think you will agree. You're bound to do much better if you try to look like me. Oh dear. 
You know, I think maybe I should just be plain old me. Oh, yes. Well, I, I suppose. <laughs> but have you seen Goliath? Why, he's, he's just, he's... He's big, but that's bigger. And I think of him that's worth a figure. With his help, little guys can do big things. With his help, I know that I can do big things. With his help, little guys can do big things too. Into. Oh dear. Well, Dave wasn't exactly sure what he was getting into, but he knew God would be there with him. So he went down to a stream and found five smooth stones. Then he went back to the camp and waited for Goliath. Who will fight me? I will fight you, Goliath. You know, if I didn't know better, I'd say that sounded like Dave. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, if I didn't know better, I'd say that looks like Dave. Huh? Dave? Goliath was equally surprised. Who said that? <clears throat> I did! Huh? Whoa, ho, ho. am I a dog that you come at me with sticks? <laughs> I don't exactly know what you mean, but you are not a dog. You are a really big guy that wants to beat me up. And I come at you not with sticks, but in the name of the God of Israel, who this day shall help me defeat you. We will see who defeats who. Now we fight. It's showtime! that they all ran away and hid, and Israel was saved. And that's the story of Dave, a really little guy who did a really big thing. <laughs>